Hi everyone, thanks for watching. Uh, what you're about to see is a quick video. What I mean by that is throughout the course of the episodes, I'm going to make a couple quick ones just to um, give you guys a couple ideas of what you could do. Um, this one we're focusing on lobster bisque. I'm going to show you a couple of tricks, a couple of techniques that we use in the restaurant and some things that you can transfer over into your home cooking on how to really make a true authentic lobster bisque. Um, you're going to see a couple notes in there. You'll see the um, you'll see the recipe over there in the uh, description. And really, what it is is it's just to put out there in, in a quick manner how to make a, an awesome dish. So lobster bisque is kind of one of my favorite soups to make. So I want to share it with you guys, and I don't want to bore you to death for 30 minutes. So feel free watch this one, share it with your friends. And um, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to email me, comment, Facebook, smoke signal, whatever it is you want to use that, that works for you. All right, enjoy, guys. for our lobster bisque after we've made our clarified butter which I have right here we have our um, lobster heads from last week that I just pulled out of the freezer out of the Ziploc bag these are going to be more than enough for what we're going to need to do so starting with my hot pan here my hot pot I'm going to pour all this lovely clarified butter right in okay and then pan's nice and hot what I'm going to do is I'm going to carefully put these in And from now, what we're just going to do is we're just going to let these cook over medium-high heat. They're going to slither and they're going to spatter. That's all right. You want to roast these shells a little bit in the thing, in the pot. So we're just going to let these go for a little bit. I'm going to cover them so it doesn't splatter too much. And then once they're cooked, we're going to come back to them and we're going to continue our bisque. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually turn my pot off here. Okay, this is a little lobster bisque at home life hack. I'm going to show you guys real quick. So this thing's, you hear it sizzling and everything in there. Pretty much what we've got, we've got our lobster heads that are now cooking in our clarified butter. You see their turn color. This one's kind of expanding a little bit. That's what we want. But before they're fully cooked, these have only been in for maybe about five minutes or so. What I'm gonna do real quick, is I'm gonna put them in two Ziploc bags. Okay. I'm going to seal this up here. Now we're going to come over to the cutting board. Alright, and we're just going to gently break up the shells. The reason why we're doing this is so we can extract a lot of the flavor from the lobster meat, get it to cook a little bit more, and then we can strain this all out. So you just want to break this up a little bit. Now we're going to take our Ziploc and we're going to return it right back to the heat. This will allow us to extract most of the flavor out of the shells and really get a solid foundation for our soup.
let this go and when it comes to a simmer I'm just going to reduce the heat a little bit so it stays at that simmer I don't want it at a rolling boil and then like I said we're just going to let that raw flour cook out we're going to let all those vegetables come together and we're also going to add our lobster shells back to our soup here that way they can all the vegetables and lobster shells can continue to extract flavor into our uh, into our bisque all right, so as you can see, our color has deepened a little bit. Um, everything's kind of just been simmering. You can kind of see the consistency here is a little thicker than, than water, but it's not, too, it's not too loose, which is exactly where we want it. Now we're gonna start seasoning our, uh, we're gonna start seasoning our bisque. First off, I have half a cup of brandy here. So um, now we need to let the brandy cook out a little bit or let the alcohol in the brandy cook out a little bit. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna let this simmer for a little bit, and then I have this nice little fine mesh strainer I got from the grocery store that we're gonna pass this through, and then we're gonna season it, add some cream, and then our bisque is almost complete. All right, so we've cooked out the alcohol from our, from our bisque, and we've let it simmer for about another 15 or 20 minutes or so. It is ready to be strained, and then we're gonna add some cream to it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna carry it over to my sink here, which I've already set up another pot, and I set up my strainer right here. You see that? Yeah. All right, cool. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just go ahead and I'm gonna pour some into my strainer here. So now we're going to take this and we're going to return this to the stove. As you can see, nice and clean, nice and smooth. Has a nice consistency, right? And we're not done yet. We still have to add some cream and we still have to season it. So I'm going to ch check it for seasoning now. I can taste the lobster. I can taste the vegetables. Taste a little bit of the brandy. I can taste the fennel. Perfect. So now what we're going to do is we are going to add our cream. We're going to do about two cups of heavy cream or so. One. Two. All right. And then now I'm going to take a whisk just to incorporate. I got this small little baby whisk here. I'm whisk this all together like this. Kind of cream it up. Now we just put a lot of unseasoned cream into our bisque. So it means we're gonna have to season it. Really all you need for lobster bisque is a fair amount of kosher salt. Be about two or three tablespoons for this amount. And I like to use some paprika. So I'm gonna do about a tablespoon. So of just regular paprika, I think I just have some Hungarian paprika here. Nothing crazy, no smoked paprika. You wanna stay away from that when you're uh, putting it in your lobster bisque. You just want a basic paprika just to give it some color and a little seasoning. Incorporate all this this together now we used all our lobster meat last week so I don't I don't have any more lobster meat and I didn't have a chance to get to the store and buy more lobster to put lobster meat in our abyss so we're just gonna have a nice cream of lobster type soup lobster bisque all right so I'm gonna give this a taste now check our seasoning levels mm, awesome still needs to get a little warmer that that cream went in cold needs a little more salt but that's it once this comes up to a simmer we are ready we are ready to serve